Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Math Sale. This is the Applied Practice Paper E and here we're working on question 3. The question here gives us a set of data of uh, distances to work from 120 commuters from a train station in Devon. Uh, the distances travelled are in the nearest mile are summarised below. So for the distribution, estimate the median. Okay, so if we've got, first of all, 120 commuters then the 60th commuter is going to be the median. So we need to find an approximate value um, for the 60th piece of data. Now what we need to do is work through the groups to start with to see which group this 60th person is going to be in. We have 10 people in this group here. We're up to 29 people uh, in this group here from 11 up to the 29th person. Um, what we're going to want next is uh, to add on this 43, so that's going to be 72. So what we have here are 72 people that are um, up to 29 miles to the nearest mile. So what we want is the 60th person in this group. Now, let's uh, imagine that we've plotted all of these uh, 43 people along a line. The effectively the smallest person is going to have a journey of about 19.5 miles. If we think of what the lower bound of 20 is, the highest person is going to have a uh, highest journey of 29.5 miles. If we think about the higher bound, now we ha already have 29 people who are up to 19.5, and the highest value here is going to be the 72nd person. Um, that we're up to at 29.5. <clears throat> so what we want is the 60th person in this set of numbers. Okay, so what we want then is, um, we want to start at 19.5 and then work a fraction of the distance into this group here. Now we want to go in by one, we want to go in by 31 people from 29 into the value of 60 out of a total of this 40 group of 43 people. And so we want to go this fraction into the group, and this group has a, um, a width here of 5. The class width of this group is, uh, sorry, the class width of this group is 10, sorry, from 19.5 up to 29.5. So work out this calculation and you get 26 point seven uh, miles. So the median person travels twenty six point seven miles um, to the train station. Okay, so the next uh, question here is uh, part B. So the midpoint of each class is represented by x and its corresponding frequency f. The midpoint of the lowest class is taken as 44.75. We have some sum of f of x's here and some sum of f of x squareds here. Estimate the median and sorry the mean and the standard deviation for this distribution. Let's work on the mean first. Now the formula here is the sum of f times x over the sum of f. The sum of f of x here is 3552.5 and the sum of s is the sum of all the frequencies and we already know here we've got 120 people in our survey or in our sample rather so in this case here we're going to get 29.6 people or miles rather Okay, for part B, and this unit, this um, letter we give here is the mean. For the standard deviation, it's going to be the square root of sum of f of x squared over the sum of f minus the mean squared. So what we're going to have here is a big square root. We've already got the sum of f of x squared, that's 138043.125. Use all the decimal places they give you to get as accurate answer as possible. We know we've got 120 people, and we know that our mean was 29.6 squared. And in this case here, 
we get 16.6 .6 miles. So on average, uh, if you live in Devon, you're going to have to travel 16.6 .6 miles um, from the train station. Part C, explain why the median is less than the mean for this for these data. Uh, the mean was 29.6, the median was 26.7. This is probably explained by this high tail here. So either one of two comments here. We have a positive distribution, a positive skew on our distribution. And that will affect it uh, clustering up towards the um, smaller values on our distribution. Or we can say here that um, the higher outliers uh, affect the mean and not the median. The median here is just going to represent the middle value rather than taking all of these uh, points here into account. Okay, part D, for a second random sample, 120 commuters travelling to work from a train station in Greater London. Uh, the mean distance travelled to work is 15.6. So this is the mean for London. And standard deviation for London is 21.2. Compare the measures of location and spread for the distance travelled to work from the two samples given possible reasons for any differences. And I've noticed here as well, we get four marks for this question. So we're going to have to at least write four sentences to explain our answer. Let's just go back and get those values. So u, so mu d was 29.6. And uh, so sigma d was... 16.6. Okay, so first looking at the um, the difference in uh, location of both of our measures. So we can clearly see here from our first comment that the mean uh, travelled distance um, mean travelled distance in Devon is greater than London and we may need a comment as to why this is the case now it's probably because if you're comparing a city and a county you're gonna have a uh, the county is going to be much greater in distance uh, much spread out um, than the city as the population will be more spread out in a county rather than a city. Okay, so that's our two marks for the measure of location. Now let's compare the measure of the spread. What I'd say is that the um, what I would say is that the people who live in Devon have a much more consistent um, distance to travel to work. Um, so the People, or the commuters rather, I should say, the commuters in Devon are more consistent in their travel. Distances to work, and think of a reason why this might be. Um, so possibly this is because their 
is a greater variety in the types of journey to London. Lots of different people have to travel into London to get to work. So lots of different types of journey into London. Rather than generally, if you're in a county, you're going to have a very similar type of journey to other people. Okay, so 10 marks for that question.